I'm very grateful. Uh, it's a slice of American pie. The show's been around forever. To be a piece of it, whether it was for a short time or a long time, it's something that everybody can relate to. It's, it's a generational show. So just to be a part of it, whether, like I said, for a long time or short time, to be a part of something with that much longevity, it's few or far between. I don't know if they'll, however many shows are ever worth like this or, you know, 50 years, it's half a century. It's a long time, no matter which way you cut it. So grateful and you feel it that's the thing that's really cool that I think I don't know if that translates but I'm sure it does um, as we walk in the set you know you feel it. it's lined with like the, the pictures of other people that have been there and you feel that there's a certain presence I mean even in our set like Elvis has been there and um, you know there's so many things that have happened on those stages also that you know you really do feel the history that the studio carries and that the show carries and I think that the family values that Days of Our Lives has, so too is it, it, it's the same with the cast. And so you really, they've, they've been so warm and welcoming and it's really an, an honor to be a part of it. I mean, she's been here a lot longer than I have, but uh, I have a few and they all were within the past you know, few months. Yeah, and, I agree. Uh, yeah, I'll never forget some of this stuff. You know, I, I can't look at a necktie without feeling different. Like somebody picked up on it. I was working, I was working on a film, and the guy who plays my father, his name is David Preval, he's amazing. And he said something. He was making a joke with a girl. He pulled out a necktie, and I never told him anything about my story or anything about it. I don't, we don't talk about it. But he saw, I, I did something, and I looked away, or something happened. He pulled out a necktie. And he picked up on it because he picks up on everything because he's a friggin' amazing actor. And he, he commented on that. And I didn't even recognize that I did that. So that's just something that stuck with me, Rob, not with Ben, but with like myself. And I didn't even realize it, so. Yeah, it stays with you. Sometimes as an actor, we've been talking about this a lot, like your body doesn't know the difference. You know, mentally, I think it's as important to um, have a technique of getting yourself into the character and have a technique of getting yourself out of the character. Otherwise, it can be, you know, damaging. And I think that Rob and I both felt this storyline specifically uh, for, for both of us, we talk about it all the time. Like I think it has, um, it demanded a new level of work from both of us, and it really totally. elevated our. Um, I don't know, like our. our brought, game, we brought our so game. So, yeah, yeah, it was. It was a whole it was a new level. For our craft, for us. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't just experimental. Like we knew that stakes were high, and you uh, could feel it when it was happening. Yeah, it was like it was something really special. Awesome, awesome, awesome storyline. Great writing. Everything changed with the show, and. I'm just we were very lucky, grateful yeah. to be a part of it. Different ways for different characters and different scenes. You know, sometimes you want to go out and have a drink with your friends and be social. Sometimes you just need to like go internally and sit. Sometimes you need to go to like for me like in a Bikram yoga class and just like sweat it out and feel like grounded again. Or your family, your friends, your boyfriend is something that like really grounds you and roots you back into like makes you feel like you again but it never sure. really leaves you is what we're saying like it's always still a part of you yeah you know we, we talked about it earlier too and I, I i'm bringing it up again because it's just so true you know as what we do and when you're really invested in certain moments and experiences and stories or whatnot as actors you know we're, we're, we're messing with our psyches and when you're doing that you're no matter what if you're being honest you're being truthful you are taking that home with you, and you and you do have to come down from it or decompress, yeah, you know, whatever your whatever your uh, tradition is of, of of getting yourself down, whether it be a glass of red wine or seeing some friends or whatever it is. But like, if you're really being honest in situations where you're really living truthfully under these imaginary circumstances, you are you're messing with your psyche, and you need to kind of come down. This a is the bit. heaviest I think both of us have ever like really felt it and absorbed it. So I think that we both kind of learned along the way what our what our method was to decompress. You know, I didn't actually to be to be totally honest. Um, I didn't know like about. I mean, I knew of Patch, and I knew you know. But I think also it happened at a time when we were both so engrossed in the story uh, and we were sort of on a different island. Like we were so invested in our own story as, exactly. as actors and exactly. also in as characters, like we were every day just working the two of us. So we never, until we came up for air in the, seat, in the script and yeah, as totally. actors, like we didn't really get a chance to, to relate to them. But it, all that being said, like we, They've come back just like they never left, and yeah. it's been amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, uh, I'm, I'm exactly with Kate on that 
completely. You know, I didn't really know the whole background. I knew of them, and I knew that the, the, the impact that they left when, at the end of the day, that's all that matters, the impact. You know, and they left an impact. So I was happy for the fans, you know, um, because it's kind of like them seeing family they haven't seen in a long time. These people have watched a show for 20, 30 years. Seriously, when they see people like that, they're like, oh, they're back, so they're happy. If they're happy, I'm happy, you know, regardless. You know, um, but yeah, I didn't really know everything about them, but uh, I'm happy they're back, and you know, that's great. Of course they are. Our stories are great right now. I mean, this show as a whole, they have taken the risk to be totally, I think they're edgier, yeah. the content is different, yeah. but it yeah, still totally. has the same thread of what brought people to it originally, and that's fantastic. There's things we can relate to, you know. Uh, I, she texted me about the stuff that was airing this past week within the cabin. You know, I know I had moments in there too that were I'll never forget. But Kate really had stuff that she took home and we talked about a lot. And I, I was, again, I was working on this project and I'm filming in a cabin. So naturally, I reached out to her and I was like, "This is really weird. I'm filming it under the cabin, but it, you know, it's it's not our cabin. But I'm thinking about it, you know. So it's like we'll we'll always have those moments, you know. Yeah. Which is great. I think so. I mean, I think that you can't help but feel it and absorb it, and it makes me emotional even to think about. But I was really, truly, I was so blessed. We came at the same time, so hungry to work, and I was, I think that it was like the best thing that ever happened. So, yeah, I'm grateful for him. We'll, we'll go on to do different projects, I'm sure, at some point, and we'll still always have that. Totally. All the shots we were taking, you mean? Yeah, all the shots. Um, I, again, I'm just very grateful, man, uh, to be playing somebody, you know, I know Ben differently than other people still so far, but like, he's split personality, he's got all the good things about him, but, he, but ultimately right now, all that's in the light is his dark side. And to see all these people embrace that and bring neckties and want me to strangle them and take pictures. It's awesome. And it's just, it's we're awesome. we're just living it. Like, we don't get to see the cast together that much. So today, what, what we've been doing before yes. this has just been like... It's been one big like high school reunion, you know. Yeah. We're all just like taking selfies and hugging each other and like laughing and making good fun energy. of each other. It's been great, this is good and energy. it's an, as as much of a gift for us as it is as it is for them. Yeah.